Automotive Promotion Studio in beautiful downtown Christiana, Delaware, it's the Tim Qual Show. We got a great one for you tonight, guys. Bottles here in Jersey, Swedesboro. You gotta be kidding me. A bunch of stars in here. We got the big man himself, Tim Qual's coming to return to the screen forever. And now, here he is, the one, the only, the talker of the town, Tim Qualls! Long room party at the county jail. Show live from Bottles Restaurant, or I should say a Bottles Italian line. And when I say that, this is uh, Enrico Bottle here with me. When it comes to Italian line, there's so much. You guys offer so much here. I want to be sure we get that out there to folks. I mean, from the market on down, Henry. Well, we like to encompass everything, you know. If you can't come out and eat, we like to bring it to your house. We like to, you know, get takeout. You know, you have a light fair in the bar, sit down dinner in the dining room. Or a party, a birthday party, or anything in the back room, special yeah. occasion. Because you you got it all, and of course we got to give claim to, to fame to your dad. Because I I had a chance in one of the shows to talk to your mother and everything. This was a dream of his and your mom's to have this, and it finally got. And, and you, of course you lost your dad six years ago, and I'm sorry to hear that. But he's got to be looking down on you guys right now and saying, "Fantastic guys." Oh yeah, well he's always here with us, and, and it's just uh, you know we try and keep uh, living his dream and doing the best we can for our customers and our family and everything and make sure everyone has a good time and you know when they're happy when they get here we hope they're happy when they leave and that's you know a goal of ours yeah and when you're talking about you i promise you're going to be happy when you get here you're going to be happy when you leave because every one of these people that i invited tonight a lot of them first time over here and they were totally because you're hidden in swedesboro i mean people it's it, folks it's the best italian secret out there and, and there's no doubt food is fantastic atmosphere is unbelievable you got it all well, my parents settled here in uh, 1963, and you know they fell in love with the town, and they wanted to see it grow and flourish. And you know we've we've been trying to do our best here to make sure the town stays alive and vibrant, and you know with live entertainment, you know good food and a good marketplace for the and, shop. And plus, we got to talk about you know what started it all way back in 1967. I believe your dad bought a sausage. Out of all things, your mom probably said, "What in the world are you crazy?" You know, but he bought a sausage factory, and now you got a bottle of sausage you can pick up in nearly any supermarket out there. Well, we've grown the, the brand. You know, we're uh, nationwide now. We're up and down the East Coast in every BJ's. We're in ShopRite's, Acme Markets. We're in a bunch of uh, private independent stores all across Western PA and everything. So. It's yeah. uh, it's going good for us. Yeah, and now now I got to give kudos to the entire family because it's not just Henry. You got you got three other brothers, and you know you kind of oversee this. This is your baby. Well, this is me and my brother Robert's uh, area of expertise. You know, we run this building with the store and everything like that. My two other brothers, Dominic and Vincent, run our sausage factory. They handle the day-to-day -day operations there. And then Mama is the boss of all of them. I want to remind you about uh, Mom runs the show. Mom is the yeah. boss. Because she, I, I was telling people, you know, people don't realize she still comes in here and. She gets involved. She gets in your way, doesn't she, Henry? <laughs> no, no one else is allowed to make lasagna besides her. So she makes all the lasagna. She still makes all the salads for the deli and everything. So all the, you know, all the prepared foods. It's fresh daily. That's what she loves to do. Come in here and Absolutely. go to work. Yeah. Absolutely. This is our home away from home. Yeah, it's a good fam. I'm telling you, folks, it's a good family atmosphere from the day you walk in to the minute you walk in the door. I mean, I, I introduced a hostess in an earlier show. Yeah, just fan. You got you got a great staff, Henry. You, well, do. It's a, you know, we, we, we're here a lot, you know. So it becomes like a home to us, and we want everyone to feel comfortable and enjoy themselves and just relax. You know, We don't want anyone to be on edge. And I've talked to a lot of the staff members, and every one of them say, I wouldn't want to work any other place than with you guys here. So you guys, anytime you treat the employees good, I say you got to treat the customers good. Well, we try. We try our best. You know, and it's just, you know, We try and pass that along to our employees to make sure you treat every customer like it's their first time here, like they want to keep coming back. Because yeah, you know, business isn't business without 
customers coming back. Yeah, and that's and yeah, I, I promise you, everybody in this room has already told me they're coming back. Uh, as I, because uh, I found you by accident. Danny was on the stage one night over here, and I came over to catch out Danny and Brian Quinn, and I had a bite to eat, and I said, <laughs> I think I've been back about 20 times since then. But it's just a great place. It's a nice place just to hang out. Good atmosphere, a lot of friendly people, and everything. But if you want to, I, I tell people don't. Come over here and expect just to walk in and get a seat. Best thing to do, make reservations, Henry, especially if you want to on that side. Absolutely. You know, it's always good to call when you have larger parties, you know, four or more, just to make sure there's a table there waiting for you. Sometimes there is going to be a little wait, and that's not always a bad thing, but you get to see the other side of the, of the business and everything. So you go to the bar, have a drink while you're waiting until your table's ready. But yeah. it's always good to call in advance. And you can find them on Facebook under Bottles Italian Line. You can find them on, I guess, uh, you got a website too. Uh, Bottos.com, B-O-T-T-O-S.com. Yeah, so you just go there and find it. It's it, it, if you're ever in Delaware, in, in Philadelphia, it's it's you know I look at it and it's 30 minutes from my house in Delaware. It's 15, 20 minutes from Philadelphia Market and if Jersey. Yeah, anywhere in Jersey. Yeah, we 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 like to encompass a nice 20 mile radius. Yeah, we we hit a lot of areas. You know, from Philadelphia to Delaware to you know towards the short points and stuff, so it's not that bad. It's worth it coming to Squeezeboro. These guys have done it. I mean, just driving out the outside of the building, it looks absolutely gorgeous. I know you're ready to go in and party because you have been cooking all night long. You've, I, I, I don't know how many meals you prepare today. No, nah, I'm always ready to have, make sure everyone else is having a good time first. That's more important. Yeah, because that's, and that's what you did. You came out of the kitchen, the first thing you did was go from table to table to table. Just be sure everybody was all right. That's it's my, my goal, to make sure it makes a good night to me and all the customers enjoy themselves. Yeah, and then great family too I, I've, I've met your family in the past you got a lot of good kids and, and it's just a whole overall you know just a great family and we thank you for letting us do this tonight no thank you for coming here and choosing bottos yeah so you want to stay tuned but definitely check out bottos.com it's that simple we're going to take a quick commercial break when we come back got a lot of interviews and that stuff still to do got a lot more entertainment the elvis king what do you think of these guys elvis, elvis kings they're rocking they are rocking it's funny two of my Favorite regulars are playing in it. Danny B's on Winkle. Yeah, well, you told me because uh, when Winkle was my dad's favorite musician here. My dad had Winkle here every other week, and it was just, he's fun. Yeah, you walked out and you said, Winkle's in the band, because it surprised you, because yeah. we caught this guy. Now, this guy's phenomenal. I mean, he's just a great, great artist, and, and as all these guys are, and they're just doing a fantastic job. It's, it's always fun to listen to. You never, it's like, just shut your eyes. You think you're listening to the radio. Yeah, but it's all here for you at Bottles. There's always entertainment Friday and Saturday night. I think you do it pretty much every every night. Every Friday and Saturday night, we try and hit different bands here, yes. Yeah, so definitely check it out. It's Bottles. Italian line here in Swedesboro. It's not hard to find. If you're coming over from Delaware or wherever, definitely check it out. Be sure and tell Henry you saw him on TV. You call him Henry because I've made you official friends because only friends get to call him Henry. Everybody else got to call him Enrico. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Delaware's premier television company comes a new and exciting website, Delaware28.com. On Delaware28.com, you can check on the latest updates on all your favorite shows around town, city scene, cook to order, product knowledge, and the Tim Call Show. And now you can also enjoy our live feed feature where you too can become a star. So don't delay and get on your computer today and check Delaware28.com. Delaware's premier television programming is now your premier website.
series of four. This is uh, once again live from Bottos, and I want to introduce you to one of my great best friends in the world. This is Dan Cohen, and Dan has the Philly party band. And, and, and you know, I want to be sure I don't, because uh, Clear always gets mad at me when I say the Philly party band. It's just Philly party band. Let's talk about that a little bit, Dan. You know, what, what are you guys are, are all about? Well, it's a party band. We do uh, mostly weddings and fundraisers. Um, it's uh, we have four lead singers, uh, horn section. It's uh, it's a fun band. Yeah, and, and it is what the name is. It is the party band because that's what you guys do. I mean, I'm amazed at sounds and I you know and I don't want to bring in other groups and everything. But as far as horn sections and everything that you guys have, I think you're the best in in, in the region, if not on the east, eastern seaboard. I mean, you really kick it out. Well, appreciate it. We're young. It's about the entertainment. We just, we really uh, like to entertain. Uh, our singers all get it. There's no egos in the band, and we're there just to have fun, and, ha and uh, it's, it works. Yeah, and I'm telling you, and, and let's let's give it uh, some kudos. To, I mentioned Clear; he's one of the lead vocalists. But you have a couple of, of uh, uh, you had a young lady and a, and a couple other uh, people. Uh, that young lady, Janice, uh, uh, was had hits in the '80s. I mean, so you you're talking about big time stars in your band. She is quite a performer. I mean, her voice is just amazing, and and she likes to put on a show. When uh, when your your video guy Jimmy is in front, you can see she lights up. Yeah, she really enjoys enjoys it and then of course the guy that's been with you for a long time and he plays the key uh, we well, doesn't play I don't know what all he does beats the drums a little bit mongos and everything one of your lead vocalists Franny, Franny yeah he used to be a drummer but he's still a drummer and now he plays uh, John Bay but um, he's been around he, he was in Petty LaBelle's choir and um, Janice also has a, a, a connection with uh, Patty LaBelle but it's, I'm telling you, folks, you're not going to hear a bet. Well, the best way for us to do it is, can you mind if we show them a little bit of the party? Yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah, as we're right now, here's some of the Philly party band. I don't want to be your son. The only love I'm ever going to need is a little girl's tongue. And where's the other one? The company just gave me a big advance. Oh, I had this last that I almost cried for the Lord of mercy. And my cheeks is the dirt, stuck out in a mud sponsor. Oh, the Lord From Delaware's premier television company comes a new and exciting website, Delaware28.com. On Delaware28.com, you can check on the latest updates on all your favorite shows, around town, city scene, cook to order, product knowledge, and the Tim Call Show. And now you can also enjoy our live feed feature where you too can become a star. So don't delay and get on your computer today and check Delaware28.com. Delaware's premier television programming is now your premier website. Introduce this guy sitting here beside me, one of my best friends, uh, Joe Richmond, was the referee for the Harlem Globetrotters for many years. And I know you're taking a year off, Joe, you know, just to get, you know, I know your daughter's going through, getting ready to graduate and all this. You want to be homebound. Man, you know, I, I just kind of missed it a little bit, you know, wanting to be around with my little one while she finished out through high school. And uh, but being with the Globetrotters, the best thing ever happened. But Tim, you know that. Yeah. You, you're the one got me started on all this. Yeah, but, it, but you, you really did a fantastic job. Played the referee, played the manager, played different different position coach and everything else as they as you went along with your career there but one of the things you got going on I want people to know about it here at the local level I mean you got you got some 
I am focused as your, you know, nonprofit organization. You do a lot for the inner city kids. And it goes hand in hand with what I do with the Globetrotters. You know, the Globetrotters are all about the kids. And what I do with the nonprofit is the same exact thing. I am focused. We 10 years in the making. Um, we're right now with the Delaware Sportsplex here in Newark, Delaware, um, starting some great events. And we have Phil Martelli come up and do a coaching clinic for us. And we're just going to keep continuous doing some more things as far as we can build the youth up in the tri-state area. Well, it's nice because of your contacts and everything being an ex Harlem Globetrotter, but your brother was in, you know, he was drafted by the Dallas Mavericks, Mike, way back when, we ended up playing in Europe, won the championship as a Barcelona and everything else, and you and your brother have done quite a bit in that, but you're always doing something, I mean, and I want people to, to really tune in to I Am Focused and, and get involved with that, because you guys, I mean, you bring Tim Hardaway down, you, you, you're bringing big time basketball players down to get involved with the youth. And that's one thing we wanted to do to Delaware. Delaware is a hotbed, people don't really understand the state of Delaware and we want to try to bring that pro level of players down here so with our NBA contacts I'm going to Houston for all-star weekend I'm going to be doing a celebrity basketball game out there and um, I'm going to go re reintroduce myself to some of my friends and let them know this is what I'm doing so we can bring them to the state of Delaware and show them our great state and what we're doing yeah because you're doing a fantastic job and of course you know many years I I, I was amazed because I was looking on Facebook and I never knew where you're gonna be I mean you're in Hawaii you're in Spain you got to see the world with a Harlem Globe drive. you know I got blessed I've been to all 50 states I always say in Alaska I always wanted to be there and I couldn't believe it I've been over 30 something countries uh, China and Japan was the best I, a lot of people ask me where do I love most? I love Germany. I, got, I mean, I've been to Budapest. I grew up in the projects. What I'm doing to Budapest, Tim? <laughs> <laughs> you know, but that, 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 you know, you never know, and that's what I wanted. To, and that's that's right there with I am focused. What you guys can do is guide them in the right way. You can do anything in life you want to do, Joe. I told you that, buddy. And right now, you know, if my church, Love Kingdom Fellowship Church down at 3rd and Washington in South Philly, that's something my pastor's passionate about. And we're doing a mentorship program as well. And I also do the youth at my church as well. So it's something that we got. We can't allow the state and everybody else to take care of our kids. We have to reach out and grab our own and bring them back. Yeah. And that's what I Am Focused is about. www.iamfocused.org. Come on, visit us and see what we're doing. Well, that's what I was going to say, the website they can visit. But you definitely want to check out I Am Focus. You want to check out Joe and, and Mike. Uh, we call him the little Shaq because if, if you ever want to meet Shaq, you just meet Mike and you think you met Shaq. You know, he's seven foot, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. You keep giving him those things. He might get back in the NBA messing with you. But, you know, I'm proud of my big brother. You know, played at UTEP. He just got honored 25 years. The school board him back and honored him after 25 years. And it was just an awesome thing. And, you know, Mike has done some great things at UTEP. The movie Glory Road was based on UTEP being the first team that put all black players that win a national championship against the great Adolph Rupp in Kentucky at that time. So, you know, Big Mike is a part of that heritage. Yeah, and then Mike, it's a shame he wasn't here. He's wanted to be here, but he's off coaching what he loves to do. In Atlantic City, right now, this girls team at Prep Charter, they're playing a basketball game down in Atlantic City, so that's where Big Fella's at. Yeah, but Joe is eating enough for Mike and him both, I'm sure of that. Oh, what, do you, what, what, what do you think of Bottles? Here, I love this place. I never. I, I, I rolled by it three or four times because you know I, I thought the brothers would be here, but the brothers not here. Well, we got Donnell. We got Donnell down there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But Donnell, he he with his lady. He ain't trying to talk to me. But I'm. A, I love this place. It's beautiful. I love the food. I mean, I can't wait to eat. I'm watching everybody else eat. I don't know where my food is at, but I'm glad I got here. Tim, you know I love you, and um, it's just a great opportunity meeting some great people here as well. Yeah, thank you so much for you coming over to Joe. I really appreciate it. Right now we're going to take a quick commercial break when we come back we're going to show you what not what all everybody's over here for the elvis king you're going to enjoy this don't go anywhere we'll be right back right after this thanks joe oh uh, you're welcome happy new year everyone from delaware's premier television company comes a new and exciting website delaware28.com on delaware28.com you can check on the latest updates on all your favorite shows around town, city scene, cook to order, product knowledge, and the Tim Call Show. And now you can also enjoy our live feed feature where you too can become a star. So don't delay and get on your computer today and check Delaware28.com. Delaware's premier television programming is now your premier website.
Welcome back here to Bottles. I'm telling you, I'm ready to get started with the entertainment, and i got to introduce this young guy. Well, I don't have to introduce him. A lot of people should know he's been coming over and doing my show for 15-plus years. One of my one of my favorite people in the world, Danny Beisel. How are you? Hey, I'm doing great. How's yourself? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I feel like I should kneel down and kiss your ring or something. Yeah, you know, like crazy? I, I, I told Danny the other day, you know, when it comes time, I don't want to I have to buy tickets in the back. I want front row Never tickets. Never you, man. Yeah. Never you, brother. You know that. Exciting things are happening for you right now, Danny. You, yeah, yeah, some yeah. Fun stuff, very yeah. Yeah, you've got because uh, I you, you're kind of nonchalant about it, but folks, let me tell you right now, he's got a position that people would die. Any musician out there would die to be in your shoes I'm right trying. now. I'm just, yeah, yeah, I'm trying to hold on to it. <laughs> yeah, because you're 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 you are now the official singer for the All Star Jam Fest. Is that? Uh, yeah, it's an All Star Jam. Um, it's uh, two guys who used to be in the band Boston, uh, Franny Sheehan and Barry Gaudreau. Uh, Jeff Skunk Baxter from Steely Dan and Doobie Brothers. But uh, yeah, so they used me as a singer. I've been singing with them uh, over this year. We did a lot of fun shows out in Utah. We just did one up in uh, the New York Stock Exchange for the Wounded Warrior Project. We do a lot of. I, I love that because I, I, I'm sitting here and I'm looking at the news, and I'm, all of a sudden I see these old guys getting ready to slam. And there's Danny in the background at the New York Stock. How, was that exciting? Oh, it was amazing. I've never been in a stock exchange. <laughs> now I'm in there. We're in the where the gavel is, the ringing of the bell, we got pictures there, and uh, the show was amazing. It's for a great cause for the Wounded Warrior Project and uh, the National Ability Center out of uh, Park City, Utah. Yeah, but you got a lot of things going on. But I, uh, tonight, this is special because this is uh, this is tonight. yeah, this is a uh, just get together with a bunch of friends oh, and just man. jam. It's you call yourselves the Elvis Kings because yeah. everybody in a, I, I don't think anybody in the band can imitate Elvis. Nah, well, it's it's <laughs> Elvis Kings. You know, we bring a lot of Elvis to the table. And, uh, but we do a lot of stuff in the 50s, um, as you'll see tonight. I mean, it's not just Elvis. Yeah, well, well I, I know this young guy back here. I don't know his name. He's on... Uh, uh, Don Lee Van Winkle. Yeah, he's Don amazing. Lee. Yeah, yeah he's... he's, he's this guy. Yeah, well, man. Well, he looks like Buddy Holly. He sounds like... But, but I heard him... thing yeah, going. Yeah, but there's, a whole, there's a whole Elvis he thing. Buddy he, he is Buddy Holly. Holly. <laughs> but I tell you, what, what, what amazed me, because I've heard a lot of people do Jerry Lee Lewis, and I, this guy, he is a perfect pitch for Jerry Lee. I remember Lee. you said that the last time I seen you, and I was like, and I thought about it, then I heard him, I was like, oh my God. Yeah, and Walls well, knows his music. Well, the, the, the amazing thing about it is, I was telling him, and his guitar, I don't know if you know this, is actually signed by Jerry Lee Lewis. Really? Yeah. I, I only been playing with the guy, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but a phenomenal guitar player. You're going to check that out. We're going to check a lot yeah, of it. Between all that stuff with the, the All Star Band and playing with these guys, I'm like so blessed with that, man. Just like, it's so great to play with great musicians, and not just great this way, great people, because yeah. that it, it's like it makes it so easier, and it makes what f music's all about being fun. Yeah, and you guys, that, this this group here, if you ever get a chance to check them out, you definitely want to check these guys out. It's all the Elvis King, Danny. We're going to check out some yeah. of you right now. Absolutely, cool. Stay tuned. Well, since my baby left me. 